What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my studio and my last stream of the year. Um, I'm going to take a couple of weeks off after this, so, um, you know, holidays, all that stuff. Uh, the next stream after that will be January 2nd, so I hope you all come back for the new year. Uh, in this time off, I'm going to try and uh, rework this template, you know, for the live stream and stuff, the, the background stuff going on, you know. I, I've been trying to do it for a while and not liking anything I come up with, so hopefully I'll get that done. I have a few ideas of what I want to do, so that'll be cool. Today we're doing a couple more Christmas cards, but these ones will be a little bit more traditional in the sense that they are Christmas cards and not weird, creepy versions. So, hopefully we'll get something cool out of it. I... Uh, in the thumbnail is a sketch, tried to make, you know, look decent, and the other one is a complete mess, but the wreath one is a complete mess, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, that's, the idea for the wreath one is more like the one, uh, like the Christmas tree, so they'll be kind of matching. But I just tried to throw it together in Photoshop. Did a terrible job. You saw. I'll fix that later. You know, once I have them done, if I get to the wreath one. I hope I get to the wreath one, but we'll see. Um, I'll take those and I'll remake the thumbnail so that it's a little better. Uh, you have no audio? You can't hear audio? It says I have audio. Olivia says she hears audio, but Angela doesn't. Could you be muted, Angela? Because I'm showing output of audio. Ah, the gremlins. Last gremlins of the year. Okay, well, we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so hard to see. All I have here is see if I can get a good angle on this with some light. Just a triangle here and a line at the bottom just to try and keep me in the area I want to be in. I'm using the micron markers to start and I'm probably only going to be using the the 5 millimeter or the 0 0.5. I don't know what that is. I think it's 5 millimeter. Um, the brush, maybe, and the graphic, one. Uh, if I want to do, if I want to thicken things up a little bit, I might come in with a brush and some actual ink. Um, I'm pretty sure I will, especially since it'll be a little bit blacker. Um, Microns don't always dry as black as you I want them. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So I have some basic ideas, like in the thumbnail. Um, I want some different spacing than the thumbnail had. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so I'm going to start out here somewhere. Uh, right around here. And this isn't the sharpest edge on my fold, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, 
hopefully I'm not coming off camera. I think I am a little bit. Let me nudge this left a little. That should be better. Okay. So. And this is, ooh, look at that, I already smudged it. I already smudged it. Uh, I'm trying to keep a light hand, so. I don't know if this will bleed. I probably shouldn't be using this paper for this. I'm using the Arches Hot Press Watercolor, 140 pound, link in the description, all that nonsense. Want to come off around here somewhere? Okay, because I want the spacing to be different than I had up top. Um, this one's going to be a little bit of a sharper angle. A little smaller. Now, let me get the top in before I forget that. That's a very distinct shape and line right there. For that one little bit and i'm going to be moving this all over the place so if anybody has trouble seeing it let me know happy holidays olivia let me say hello uh rob no problem real life always comes first whether it's yours or mine doesn't matter it comes before the live stream so never a problem if you can't be here um, I appreciate you saying you'll watch later. I hope you do. Thank you. Uh, hello, Clark. I hope you can hear yet. Um, hello, Olivia, and hello, George. Everybody, welcome. Let's keep this going. Okay, now, I don't want them all. This is just the layout. It doesn't matter if these lines are sloppy at the moment. I'm going to try and smooth them out later. Hopefully that'll work. Um, come up right here and get one more down here. Okay. Now up here. Need a long one and a short one. So let's try getting that little edge in there. This one's clearly going backwards. And they are going backwards on purpose, so. That's a little one with very little looping. I'm going to add something else in here, so let's cut 
because the idea is that all of these little circles will be filled in and become like the ornaments. And do one coming off here. And I can build off of any spot I want. That's the idea anyway. So if I want one down here towards this corner, I just stick it in. If I want one up here in this area, just stick it right in. Where are we going here? Let's come from off of here. One more down in here. See, I'm trying to stay away from this edge at the moment because that'll get filled in as we go. Um, I'm going to bring one more out from in here and go the opposite direction. And I don't want all these coming out the same size. It's definitely getting there. Let me get that out of the way. <laughs> Very good. Very good, George. Very good. And thank you, Angela. It's, it's, you know, a little bit in my style. You know, I do like these black, white, and red designs. Although, I do not have um, I do not have a red ink to use, so I will be using this. Uh, it's uh, Dalarani pearlescent, and it, it's a pink. So maybe, and it hasn't been used in a long time. So I hope I can even get the top off, and it's still liquidy. We'll find out later. <laughs> okay, so we're definitely getting into some shape here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in empty gaps by using other little shapes. Let's see. So in here we can start and come down. Basically, everywhere there's, like, a V, I'm going to either add a shape with the, a hook or just a line. It really depends on what I'm feeling, you know? Right over that edge. This one will come the other way. Oop. 
Boop, there it is. Starting to cross that line now, which I will eventually have to erase. <laughs> Hopefully it'll help me get that that look of being, you know, a bushy tree. That's what we're going for. Right to this edge. Still just working on filling in and getting some good shapes. All the way around. This one right there. And this one can go the other way. Skipped a little bit there. That's going to look a little weird, but we'll fix it. Gotta get some small ones in there. Trying to make sure I'm not going to smudge it. So, mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. Put just a line in here. No loop on this one. Just a line. I'm going to do that in a few places to try and make the center have a little bit more darkness and texture to it. We'll see how it goes. These are like the little places I might come with the brush. Because I don't want to have to sit here and fill that in completely. That'll look weird.
little bit of that curve getting in there, trying to mess me up. Still filling it. Still filling it. And I will thicken some of these lines later in order to try and give them a little bit more of a branch shape. The original design I did of this started with my initials in it, and I didn't like the way it came out. It just wasn't, wasn't working quite right. But that's why I have these like the pointed and the curve curly Q shapes because that's how I write my initials. Go for another just the line here. I'm going to give that a little X. Remind myself that that's supposed to get filled in later. Getting a little too many dots here. Might start making it look strange. So, some place still need a couple more. Okay, I'm starting to like where that's going. Okay, so now. Just to. break these round spots, I'm putting in just some little kind of V shapes or, you know, pine needle-y shapes. Just trying to make it look full.
more even. If that makes sense to everybody else. Get some of these down in here. Okay. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Now the base I'm not sure if I want these connected yet because it's just the base Okay, now I'm going to jump into the brush brush and see how well this works on some of these spots. Eh, not bad, but it's it's hard to see the tip. Um, I'm gonna go with the noodlers, just in case. Give it a nice shake. <laughs> Sorry if my hands were in the way. Um, just. Uh, paper towel. I just don't want to dip the brush directly into the ink while it's dry. Excuse me. Uh, hey, Teresa. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, what do we got here? Yes. Hello, Teresa. I think I just said that. Thank you for joining me. Much appreciated. Okay. Where's my next solid black one? Let me give you a closer look too. This is what we got so far.
little hard getting ink on this wrinkly edge. We're going we're gonna to try and do this big swirl here and give it some more thickness in parts. We'll see how it works. But I want to try and keep it smooth too. So. You know what? I may just go right back into clean clean that off a little bit. Put me there for now. Oh, right, I'm going back into the the markers because they'll be easier to use. That's all there is to it. I can be a little more careful with the markers than I can with the ink, and that's mostly because I can't see anything. <laughs> Just going a little bit blind over here. I need new glasses, that's for sure. Ah. I don't know if it is, Angela. I, I really, I don't know if it is. It might be, but who knows? <laughs> so this is going to be thicker all the way up here. up on this side that looks about right try to fill this in I don't know about that steadiness. Kitty glitter. I keep having to back off because my eyes aren't focusing enough to see what the heck I'm doing.
bet you if I scan this later, uh, Angela, that it will be very, very sloppy and broken. <laughs> You know how it is. Every time I do something with pretty much straight ink, and then I look at it like close up, you know, you take a picture of it or scan it, you look at it close up, it's always broken. There are spots that aren't filled in. Drives me crazy. I'm just doing them as I see them and deciding where I want it to go darker and thicker. Let's see. A little shaky on that one. It's definitely not as smooth as I would like that transition.
So sorry if that was a little too quiet. I said I'm gonna start down here and try and round this off a little bit. Sometimes I just mumble to myself. That's getting pretty good. This one is enclosed. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when I say you find things you didn't expect. A little more. See if I can bring this to a better point. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Hi, Starving. Thank you for joining me. I apologize, Starving. I, I, I keep trying to schedule my work for making the thumbnails and getting everything scheduled on Friday and I keep missing it and ending up doing it Monday morning so there hasn't been the last two or three live streams there has not been a post to Facebook or MeWe or Instagram or anything I keep forgetting to do it because I'm running so far behind it's the time of year there's so much to do you know how it, how it goes. Um, a little more darkness right in here. Let's do this. And I'm just, you know, squinting at it to see where it looks lighter or darker than it should. Everybody knows that one, right? Where you squint to see stuff. <coughs> Thank you, Cats Art Picks. We're 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 doing our best here. And yeah, you know, now that starving is here, I can actually tell a little bit of a story. Um so, after Halloween, first week of November, I took my 
plastic jack-o'-lanterns out of out of the window in the front of my house and I put them away and with them I took the smart plug that I used to turn them on and off at sunset and sunrise and I put that in a drawer and about two weeks ago as I was getting ready to start doing the Christmas decorations yes two weeks ago not six weeks ago like a lot of these crazy people two weeks ago I started to do my Christmas decorations and I looked in that drawer and I saw the smart plug and I pulled it out and I said I'm gonna need this I'm gonna put it somewhere where I'll find it how many of you have done this so I put it where I th thought I would be able to find it I can't find it I spent two days looking for it now still can't find it have no idea where it is and the problem is that the one place I would look for it is the draw I took it out of so <laughs> so yesterday see the cats I gotta remember where I'm going with this story yesterday I came into my studio to see maybe if I put it in here so I come in here and I look around for a while and I don't see it and apparently on my way out of the studio I let one of my cats into the studio and then we went shopping that took about two hours we came home did some other stuff put everything away and then I'm walking back to my room and I hear meow 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 so I'm like where's that coming from and I realize it's my studio so I open up the studio door and my cat is trapped in here and everything is wrecked everything's knocked off of my drawing table everything's knocked off of the desk everything's knocked off of the the shelf thing over here my little caddy he got in my closet the, the closet in this room doesn't have a door it just has a sheet over it he got into the closet and knocked everything off the shelves and he's meowing but he's sound asleep on one of the shelves not sound asleep but just comfortably curled up relaxing like hey when somebody notices me come get me so so I spent a good portion of last night completely cleaning my studio but I think it's the the not remembering where stuff is that gets me the most. Um, I don't know what George is talking about, about the group chat thing. I don't know if he's talking about in, in here, what? This is what happens when you miss things. But I see Cat's Art Picks saying, wow, burr, yeah. It's about, I think it's in the 30s here today. So it's getting cold. I have no snow. We got a little tiny bit of snow from the blizzard that was coming. <laughs> but we didn't get any real accumulation. And it was gone in a couple hours. It happened overnight, and boom, it was gone. Um, who else we... What else have we got? Uh, Me, 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 do that all the time. Yep. Okay. Not just me. Good. <laughs> uh, 
I did. It didn't. You know, sometimes you you just lose things. I don't know why. And it's funny because I have this whole theory of you don't put things... You don't put things where you think they're going to be. You think you put them where you think you're going to look for them. And it's worked for so long. And I broke my own rule and now I can't find it. I actually took one out of my studio. Which really only controlled those orange lights in the background and the hair dryer. So right now, the orange lights are just plugged straight in. And yeah. So, okay, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. Picking up the base thing here a little bit. And then we're going to try and do that pearlescent pink ink. My friend Ellen would probably love this because she's obsessed with pink and black. Or she was. There's going to be one last little bit to this base part. That comes right down in the center. It's going to have like a kind of an upside down spade shape. Okay. There we go. I'm going to find. A little itty bitty brush. Where is my little itty bitty brush? Okay, let's see. Let's see if this pink ink even works. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yep, it's been a long time. Hey. Oh, it's thicker than I thought it was. No, let's, oh, yeah, this is very dried out. Let me see if I can use a little cup here. And I bet, see if I can get some of this out. So I don't, I won't need a lot. 
basically just going to be a bunch of dots. But I just made a mess of that pipe in. Mm -hmm. I'll close this back up. If I need to, I'll come back into it. should have had a circle over there somewhere. It's going to look a little bland right there in the middle. I really wish this was red, but I don't have any red ink. Trying to work my way down from the top so that I don't accidentally smudge it because I have no idea how long this will take to dry. And I may still come back in here and thicken some things up once this color is dry. We'll see if we have time for that. And maybe try and like adjust or fix some of the black outlines around the pink. Hey. Uh, oh. And there we have it. If I have to, I will come back in and hit it with a little bit more of the pink at some point. If it looks like it needs it. But so, that. That's it. And if I do any lettering, it'll either be... I'll either do the letter lettering digitally, or I will... I have... In my basement somewhere, I have an entire folder filled with Letraset, if anybody remembers what that is. Rub-on lettering. 
I may try and do that because I do have some fancy lettering down there. Okay, so now the wreath. Let's see if we can do this. That took about an hour. Okay. I'm going to go right back into that. Uh, I'm going to drop that on the floor. Go right back into my graphic marker. I think that's what they call it. Now, i got to figure out how wide I want it. What am I getting on here? About that wide, I guess. And this one may actually get some color done in with it, some green. But we'll see. That seems like a reasonable place to start. Oh, I think I just answered your question, George. The, the, the It'll say something like happy holidays, that kind of thing, seasons, greetings. Who knows? I haven't really decided yet. Okay, so for this, I'm doing the same kind of execution. But with a little bit a little bit different kind of look to it, I hope. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of these patterns. Mm. Go with another small spiral one. Start right around here. Here we get some dots coming out into the center. Connected. We're just 
creating fun shapes. That's all. Go for a nice big one right here on the center. Keep following this line. This one I'm going to split directly from the center. That grabbed a little. for another big S one over here somewhere. Well this out. Trying to remember to make them different sizes, the little dots. Oh yeah, the, the lining it up, oh, that can be brutal. And not all of these will have to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not all of them will have to be within a certain spot because I will do the same thing like I did with the tree. I will do just a little bit of fill in, you know, to give it some more depth. Uh, where are we going here? Let me do right there. Back up to this side. Uh, start right there. This one's going to go right off the page. I'm going to do that again right about 
here. Okay. We'll do a little bit of filling. Let me make sure this is looking round. Okay. So I can add one right here. This part is I'm not liking this part right here, so I'm going to try and add just a little bit more of a shape to it, get a little bit more round down here. So this needs that ought to do it. A little bit more of these little guys. It's looking okay. This one right here, this one might have been a little too. But that was, I believe, the first one, so. little bit more fill in just to give it some variation in the lines I 
I don't want to rush it, but I kind of feel like I'm starting to. Just try and even out the roundness there a bit. Basically, anywhere there's a V shape, I'm trying to add in a little bit of extra line weight and you know, close some gaps. And see, this is why you should have reference in front of you. Because I completely forgot there was supposed to be a ribbon on this until just now. There was supposed to be a ribbon right in here, in this area, that I didn't do. So, maybe I'll put that in in post or something. But, okay, so let's give it some, let's give it some weight. And I'm basically doing everything I did before, just thickening, thickening up the lines in some places, but not others. bit too thick. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. Um... Hey, thanks, Rob. I guess the meeting's over, huh? <laughs> or you're still in it and you're cheating. Yes, yes it is, Angela. It's, uh... I got a little bit of light left. It's not... It's not blackout, but it's definitely dark. Uh, they were popular with you guys, you know, my regulars. But I don't know how many other people saw them because... Nobody else seems to be watching my stuff. It's okay, though. <laughs> A collector's item? I'll take that. Sounds good to me.
we're going to continue doing just some line weight here in places. I wish I had steady enough hands to do this with the brush, but that's why I stopped using the brush. I just didn't feel comfortable with it. like that line at all it's so not smooth is that the paper or is that me could be both Smooth out that curve. I don't like this spot right here. Didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. But we can work with it. A bit more dark up in here. Even it out a little bit.
start moving up towards the top here. I'm doing some Christmas cards, Rob. And thank you. Thank you. Um, I hope it's coming across the way I want it to. Like I said, everything's already blurry for me, so... Just a tiny bit. Until I, you know, move away. <laughs> So slightly widen some of these lines. I always have problems with smooth round transitions they don't always work for me but i do my best it's all we can hope for right doing our best
well, it's definitely not round. It's roundish. <laughs> If I can just give a little bit more. That helped a little bit. I must have pencil or something on my cutting mat because that is not <clears throat> that is not coming off of my hands. And, it's, and it looks like pencil, so. Hey, D, D. Lynn, thank you for joining. Yeah, yeah. I agree, Rob. But I'm just being sloppy. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit for a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Quick sip of my drink. Um, okay. So, we're going to do the same thing. Where did my paint go? That's probably dry too, which is terrible. Since I don't know how the the pink and the the microns will react if I try and wash a little color over this, I may not do that. I may just do that digitally. These are definitely going to be matching in some way. So if I do the green digitally on this one, I may have to do it to the other one too. To the tree. could have tried this by starting with the green wash in watercolor and then worked over it, but I was afraid, so I didn't. Big guy. Need a little extra ink on me.
the wreath is entirely made up on the spot. The the tree, I have this, which was the original first sketch. And you can see they're completely different, so I'm, I didn't follow it. They're similar, but not the same. And this is the one I did where I started, see here are my initials, the J and the F. And then I worked out from that, and yeah, it was okay, but I wasn't feeling it. Thought it was a little too, I don't know, tacky to put my initials right in the middle of it. And that was from Dealin. Sorry, I didn't click on your comment. I forgot. It's only been, uh, you know, almost two years. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this thing. I'll figure this stuff out eventually. Making sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, that'll do. I am going to have to really clean these brushes because this ink is so, so very thick at the moment. question is, could I do anything else to them? Besides just changing line weight in places? See, the original idea for this one was to do like a, a light green watercolor strip and then a little bit darker and then a little bit darker and then work the blacks out from the center. So I, I may still be able to do something like that, you know, in, in the shop, the photoshops. So we'll see. All right, let's get caught up on chat and see what's going on here. Well, the the Noodler's ink is definitely supposed to be waterproof. Uh, it, the last time I used it, it did smudge when I tried to erase around it, and I wasn't a fan of that. Um, but it may be waterproof. I haven't really tested that. Um, and the Microns, I don't know. They say they're waterproof, but I've definitely see, seen them bleed a little bit when they get wet. Um, they could be. I don't know. Like I, 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 I am not the maker of them, and I have... I've never tested them for waterproofness. I mean, that could be something I do in the future. Who knows? Um, yeah. And I didn't even touch the, pe the Pelican ink. So, we won't even mention that. But, yeah. That's about where we're gonna... Where we're gonna leave it. I like them. They need a little bit of work, especially on these rough edges. And... Also, I was going to say, uh, if I do try and see what this looks like with the green, I'll also try and, like, you know, smush and 
get it to be actually round, round. Um, yeah, so. Aw, oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Rob. I, I, I do appreciate the compliments. And I, I, I do take it to heart that you guys like it. It's much appreciated. Okay, so. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? So like I said, uh, yeah, this is my last stream for this year. I will be back January 2nd, 2023. Uh, day after New Year's Day. And, uh, yeah. Don't know what we'll be doing. Hopefully I'll have a whole new layout for the stream, all this stuff around me, that'll all change. Let me give you one good, quick, close-up look, so you can see them. There we go. Um, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So, you know, hit the buttons, do the things, all that stuff. Uh, check out the links and the merch. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to Angela for modding. Clark Fine Art does a great job modding here. Uh, still always looking for another mod if somebody wants to be in there. And Cl Clark Fine Art deserves a day off now and then. Uh, she can't be here all the time. She tries like heck, though. So, yes. Uh, that's it for this year. Um... I'm going to try and get some stuff done. I have to learn DaVinci Resolve, and it's so weird compared to a 20-year-old version of Premiere Pro. So, it's all it's all good. Uh, I'm working on the next video of the closet painting. That's what I'm doing in DaVinci. It's my first one. So, I wanted to make sure the first video I make with DaVinci Resolve comes out good. Um, yeah. Um, you have lots of paid vacation time to use. Yeah. <laughs> well, are, are lockery bucks transferable? Because I supposedly have millions of those. So, yeah. So, um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Okay. Happy holidays to everyone. And a happy new year. I'll see you next year.